Hello YouTube, I am Asghan and you are watching Khatak Dev. So today we are going to talk about Windows Terminal. I know they are basic, they are dull and they are so boring. So what we are going to do is that we are going to change them from this to this. I also have a blog article on this topic so if you are interested in that as well, please check that out. The link is in the description. So now let's get started. So by default we have some, uh, this command prompt which is pretty simple and uh, it's kind of boring. So let's have something more colorful. We will not modify the command prompt or uh, PowerShell which is also available in uh, Windows 10 uh, but rather we will use another application that's called Microsoft Terminal uh, which you can get from Microsoft Store. So if I open my Microsoft Store and search for Windows Terminal uh, and this is the application that I am talking about. So uh, I have already installed it. So basically there are several steps that we are going to follow. Uh, the first thing is that we need to download this. So I have already downloaded this. Uh, just You just need to go ahead and uh, open your uh, Microsoft Store and uh, download this and install it. Once we are done with that, then we will move on to uh, open it and install some modules. So we will need some uh, extensions uh, for Microsoft Terminal, Windows Terminal. And uh, then we will uh, change the fonts and change the theme. So these are the few steps that uh, we have to install some extension uh, and then change the font and then change the theme. So just go ahead and install this if you do not, if you do not have it. And once you are done with that, uh, just search for it and open it from your taskbar, uh, from your Windows taskbar. So let me open that too here. And uh, if you install it and open it, by default it looks something like this. So it's also pretty simple without any colors and uh, it's also kind of boring. So, uh, but still it has like uh, a few other features that I uh, personally love. So for example, if you're using command prompt uh, and you have something like, for example, you started a Node.js script and then you want to do something else, like execute some other command. So then you have to open another command prompt. But in case of Microsoft Terminal, uh, you can have something here and you then you do not need to open another micro, uh, Windows Terminal. You just need to tap on this plus icon and it will open in the Windows PowerShell for you. And if you want to have something like a command prompt, you can also choose that from here. Uh, so if you have, for example, installed your Ubuntu on uh, Windows using Microsoft uh, from Microsoft Store, that will be also listed here. And if you have a uh, bash or some things like these, so that all, all of these will be listed here. So you can do that as well. So like you can open multiple tabs here. Uh, so that's also one of the most amazing and useful feature of Windows Terminal. Uh, so now it looks like this. Now what we are going to do is that we need to install some modules. So the modules are on my Posh and Posh Git. So to install the to install the modules, you need to open the Microsoft Terminal as an administrator. So let me close that and open that again as an administrator. And now to install the modules, uh, there is a simple command that is install dash module space the module name. So the first module is on my posh. And uh, if you are doing this for the first time, it will also ask you to install new git, uh, n u g e t. Uh, so you also need to install that. I have already installed that before, so it's not asking me for that. Um, and then it will ask you about this module. This module. So it is from a third party that's why it's uh, saying that from an untrusted repository so i just need to uh response with a yes to all and that will install uh the module for me so once we are done with that uh the next module is uh posh git so install dash module again and then posh git now uh, let's talk about what exactly are these two. So oh my posh is a module that helps you to decorate your PowerShell and uh, whereas PoshGate is a module 
that helps you to provide auto complete for git uh, commands and uh, paths for the git and branches etc so you just need to like double tap uh, double tap on the tab button and it will complete it for you the path so for example if you like git if you want to do git push so you just do tu and double tap and that will uh, do the job for you uh, at this moment it is not working because uh, posh git is not activated yet so now we are done with these uh, two modules uh, and uh, the next thing is that now we have to activate that so to do that uh, we have this command import module and then oh my let's clear the screen oh my posh and then import dash module posh git now the both both of these commands are activated so like i just tap uh, on the tab button and it automatically completed it for me so like this now the two commands are uh, the two modules are activated but you do not see any change in the colors and the reason for that is oh my posh has a lot of different themes uh and depending on the theme it changed the colors and it changed it have a different look so now if i go to some git repository a local repository it will have some change so for example i have a git repository here uh if i go there now you can see some here uh kind of different thing and it's also colorful uh one of the theme uh, i prefer and i love is uh paradox so to change the theme on uh, you, from oh my posh you just need to do set dash theme and the theme name so set paradox you can uh, get all of the themes uh, from oh my posh documentation now you can see here it ha it's it's like a little bit more a little bit more better than it was by default uh, now there are two issues the first one is that we have this small uh, rectangle here and uh, the second issue is that if i close this windows terminal and open it again i again have to go through all these steps import uh, all these importing steps that import modules for oh my posh and then posh gate and then set the theme so we have to find a way that we do not need to do this again and again and uh, uh, the reason for this uh, small square rectangle is that it's the font issue. The font is not supported. So we have to change the font for that. So let's do that after fixing this issue. Uh, then we will move on to the font issue. So there is a script for Windows Terminal that executes every single every time that you open your uh, Windows Terminal. And that script can be found here. If you do echo dash uh, echo profile so this is the path where this script microsoft.powershell underscore profile dot ps1 this is a script that is executed every single time you open your microsoft windows terminal so we have to add these commands to this file if i copy the path and add it here now this is the file and here are some scripts and uh, you see this file is not present here and uh, so if it is not then we need to create that so there is a simple note, uh, cmd command that is notepad and uh, then the file name so if i do just this it will ask me uh, that it cannot find that file do you want to create a new file so tap on yes now we just need to copy these files actually let me show you this as well that if i close this and uh, open it again now you can see it is again uh, set to the default so yeah we have to change that we have to uh, add all those scripts here so import oh my posh import posh git and set theme to paradox now i close that that was saved and i close this too and now if i open again you can see here now uh it is uh that that those commands are executed by default whenever i open my windows terminal 
So we have fixed the first issue that uh, we do not need to have these modules import again and again. Now the second issue is that this uh, small rectangle. So to fix that, we have to change the fonts. And uh, for the fonts, what I suggest is uh, this font. You, you can use, there, there are a lot of different fonts. But I suggest this one that is a figure code. So you just need to go here and download it from here. The link is in the description. Uh, so you can just go there and copy it from there. If you want, you can you can use any other font. I am not exactly sure what fonts are supported, but you can go for this one. The reason for that, why I prefer this, is uh, it has something like this. Right? Uh, if you do double equals, it is going to give you uh, this equals triple equals is something like this uh four equals something like this uh dash dash greater than looks like this double equals uh, not double equals some looks something like this so uh that that's the reason i prefer this it it looks awesome uh whereas the normal fonts uh look something like this uh, triple equals look like this whereas in figure code you can have something like this so that's why i prefer this uh font so you just need to download it and uh, there will be TFF files and uh, that will be, you will just have to install that just like you do any normal, uh, just like you install any fonts on Windows. So I have already installed that on my system. So I do not need to do that again. Now, once you are done with your fonts, once you have installed that, uh, go to your Windows Terminal settings. To do that, tap on this I go down icon and tap on this settings. It will open your settings.json for you. Now, if you go to this profiles, which is on line number 26 by default, if you have not modified your uh, settings.json, uh, under the defaults, you have to add font face and the font name. And that is a uh, figure code. So make sure you have installed that correctly as it will not work if it does not detect it on your system. So as soon as I save it, you will see a uh, change here. So uh, if I just press Control S and now you can see that issue has been fixed. Now. So you can see uh, a triangle here instead of that uh, weird rectangle. So that is that is how you can change the fonts and now it goes much much better. Now if I go to any git repository now you can see here it's much much better than it was by default and obviously it's much better than the default command prompt here. Now if I go to that same repository using command prompt you can see there is a lot of difference between uh the looks of the powershell and the command prompt so that that is how you can uh import the themes and uh make it a little bit more colorful now let's also modify this uh the background the this color and this color so there is a website where you have a lot of uh windows terminal themes available and that is windows terminal themes .dev. Uh, again the link is in the description so you can copy that from there so here on this website you can find a lot of awesome themes so what i'm going to do is that i am going to go with this theme that i personally love and that is this Tracola. so you can you can check all the themes and see what theme you prefer you're not obviously bound to this one uh and here you can see an example of how it looks so i i personally love this one so i'm going to go with this one and set it just select the theme from here and tap on this get theme. It will copy the JSON data and then go to the uh, Windows Terminal settings again from this settings. And I have already opened that before. So, and then here on the Windows Terminal, go to this line number 57, which is schemes. And then in the schemes, you just need to add that uh, JSON data that you just copied and save that. Now we have added a theme here, but there is still no difference in the colors. 
now to make a difference to see the difference here uh, you have to add this theme to the VS code so it it just imported this theme it's not currently set so every theme you can have multiple themes here uh, like this since it uh, the scheme is an array so you can have multiple teams and each team has uh, its unique name which is this name so in this case this team has this name Dracula so now if for example you want to have this theme for uh, powershell and you want to have another theme for command prompt so you can import multiple teams like just i did uh, this just i like i imported this theme so you can import another theme and for example if you want this theme just for the powershell so you can go here and find the powershell uh, object in the list so here you can see this is the powershell and add uh add a property that is color scheme and the name of that theme so here color scheme Dracula. and then if you want to have something like you have another theme that you imported and you want to have that for your command prompts you can also do that here uh and do whatever that name is uh and for example if you want to set this Dracula theme to every single whether it's PowerShell, Command Prompt, Azure Cloud Shell, uh, Ubuntu, whatever it is, uh, you want to have this Dracula theme. So instead of like using this line, this property to every single object like this, you can avoid that. Like let's remove it from here and go to this defaults. So this default means to like these these properties are applied to all the all the available terminals or uh, uh the objects and uh, the powershell command prompt uh crowd share ubuntu whatever you have th this these properties are applied to all, all of those uh so let's say add that here and save it and then if we check over terminal it looks much much better now and you can see it here so the changes are here and uh, it is also available on the command prompt as well here you can you can see the difference like if i if i remove this comment out this code and save that you can see it it changes the color so and let me replace that so yeah now powershell looks much much better than it was before and if i now go to that uh, git repository uh, now check this uh, check how it looks and uh, how it looks in the command prompt so there is uh, there is a lot of difference between these two and obviously this one looks much much more awesome and much much more cool so that is how you can uh, modify and uh, change your windows terminal and have something like this so there are a lot of uh, other things that you can do with your windows terminal uh, you can have a specific title for it uh, so this title is actually available on the settings so you can change that from there too but once you install oh my posh and posh git uh, it it kind of works weird so you, there is a small fix for that uh, uh, you can you can do that uh, but check out the documentation for the windows terminal to explore what you what what else you can do with your windows terminal so it is configurable and it has a lot of uh, properties that you can use to modify it so that is it for this video. I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you do, press the like button and uh, do subscribe to the channel. Subscribe.